Hello and welcome to a new video. I'm Vanguard and today I'll be going through my top 10 most powerful supercomputers in the world. A supercomputer is a computer with high level of computing performance compared to the general purpose PC. They were introduced in the 1960s. Today, they play an important role in the field of computational science and are used in a wide range of intensive tasks in various fields, including quantum mechanics, weather forecasting, climate research, oil and gas exploration, molecular modeling, and physical simulations. I'll be basing this video off the November 2016 top 500 list, but enough about that, let's get right into the video. First up is Trinity. This was designed to provide increased computational capabilities for NNSA nuclear security enterprise, in support for ever demanding workload with a performance of 8.1 petaflops. It is located in Los Alamos National Laboratory in New Mexico, United States, approximately worth around $174 million. Next up is Mira. Mira is used for scientific research, including studies in the field of material science, climatology, and computational chemistry. Located in Argonne National Laboratory and has been on the list since 2012, it has an 8.59 petaflop IBM system capable of up to 10 quadrillion calculations per second. Number 8 is Pizdane, which was actually named after a mountain, the only European entrant in the latest top 10, and in fact the only one not from US or East Asia. This is 9.78 petaflop machine using up to 1.3 megawatts house at Swiss National Supercomputing Center in Lugano. Number 7 is K Computer. In June 2011, top 500 ranked K as the world's fastest computer with a computation speed of over 8 petaflops in November 2011. K became the first computer to top 10 petaflops. As of right now, it performs at 10.51 petaflops, currently being the 7th fastest in the world. Sixth on the list is Oak Forest Pax Supercomputer. This is one of the newer entries on the list itself. The system is located in Information Technology Center on University of Tokyo's Kashiwa campus. Oak Forest Pax has surpassed K Computer, officially becoming the highest performance supercomputer in Japan. The system runs at 13.55 petaflops. Next up is Cori, located in America National Energy Research Scientific Computing Center. Cori is named after a biochemist, Gertie Cori, the first American woman to win a Nobel Prize. The computer that bears her name hits the 14 petaflop mark in the LINPAT benchmark, using up to 622,000 total cores. Number 4 is Sequoia. Sequoia contains a whopping 1.5 million total cores which drive a total 17.1 petaflops of performance. It resides at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in California and has been in the top 10 since 2012. It is primarily used for nuclear weapon simulations and also for scientific purposes such as astronomy, energy and climate change. The place is Titan. Titan is a supercomputer built by Cray at Oak Ridge National Laboratory for the use of a variety of science projects. Titan is the upgrade of Jaguar, a previous supercomputer at Oak Ridge. It is available for any scientific purpose, access depends on the importance of the project. Titan is 17.59 petaflop machine worth around $97 million. Second place is TNE2, a Chinese National University of Defense Technology Milky Way 2 packs a 33.86 petaflops of processing power, which was actually enough to put it at the top of every list since 2012 to 2016. It was developed by a team of 1,300 scientists and engineers. Finally at number 1 is Sunway Taihu Lai, a Chinese supercomputer which as of November 2016 is ranked number 1 on the top 500 list as the fastest computer in the world, rating of 93 petaflops. This is nearly three times faster than the previous record holder, used for science, weather forecasts, drug research, oil prospecting, and much more. This supercomputer is worth around $273 million, which is freaking huge. So that about wraps up this video of the 10 fastest supercomputers in the world. This is another video that is a little different than the usual and was something that I used to do a lot more back when I first started YouTube. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. As of right now, I'm really close to hitting 600 subs. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later.